I have improvised at home a little slope made with a clipboard, which I can then prop up on a pile of books. And I have a little toy vehicle, which I can put down the slope. And I'd like you to watch these four very short videos to think about what happens to the toy car when I put it on a slope and why, and what happens if I make the slope steeper. So here's the first one. Here's the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, all getting steeper. Now, hopefully you can see that the car accelerates down the slope. Now, why does the car accelerate down the slope? Well, we could say that part of the car's weight is acting down the slope to accelerate it, or there is a component of the car's weight acting down the slope to accelerate it. And if we make the slope steeper, then that will mean that a larger component of the car's weight is acting down the slope, and that will make it accelerate at a higher rate. So it's very useful to be able to resolve the weight of something into a component into the slope and down the slope, because then you can predict the rate that it will accelerate down the slope.